everyone, Ammo here, and we're playing Moirai today. I was looking around the free to play, the Steam free to play page. I do that sometimes. We used to have the free to play fun series, which I guess isn't, you know, it's not officially cancelled. They just haven't really had fun to go around and stoop through uh, the free to play bundles for, you know, the gems that are worth making videos of. But I did come across this one. It seems a little first player, a little, little single player adventure. And really simple and seemed pretty short. And I was like, you know what, it seems fun. I'm going to do a little blind playthrough of this. And uh, I haven't stretched the screen. I'm actually playing on this tiny little resolution box. Talk to priest. How do I, how do I, spacebar. Our prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. Imagine she's grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. All right. So guess we're, we're solving some mysteries, what I have the impression of from the short description I read. You need to stay close to mama, otherwise she's worried that we've run off. All right, how about mama? Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. That sounds... So, Julia's... The whole family's dead. Sometimes daddy lets pet the sheep on the head. They're so soft. Alright, so as you leave town, house on the left. That appears to be the exit to town. To the farm. This should be Julia's house. Cabin one. Julia, you little girl. Why are your bed... Your bed's just part of the wall, isn't it? You just painted beds onto the wall. You painted your furniture onto the walls. You poor little girl. My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. You're not. I thought... As you leave town? So that's it to the farm. Yeah. But, but that didn't seem to be Julia. Did you say left? Maybe you said right. Maybe the little girl was Julia. But no, it's that daughter family. Look at the bookshelf. There's a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, young boy. Yeah, that's to be Julia's. I wonder where they are. Well, apparently the wife's in here. Is she in the cave? Having some grief? Is she grieving in the cave? Is there something insidious going on? I have the impression there's something insidious going on. And I'm I'm a sucker for Insidious, not the movie. Although I didn't, I like that movie more than more people did, more than most people did. It should look like a lovely day. It looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. It's a weird thing to tell me, Mr. Chef. But okay, who the heck am I? Am I just in this town? Why are these people telling me these things? That little boy. I heard there's gold in the cave. I'm just here to enter. They say it's a little boy that haunts over your shoulder. That sounds scary. Okay. It's also good. There's a bunch of dead people going to the cave. It seems like a scary cave. Let's go find out. Read the signpost. Farm. I got that. Oh, can't pet the sheep. Poke sheep. Oh, they make different sheepy noises. Very loud sheepy noises. Figured I had the volume up a little bit because the music was kind of soft, but the sheep are going to be screaming in my ear. I'm going to turn down just a touch. Enter the barn. The barn is locked. Pet sheep. Uh, Pet sheep. Uh, don't want you sheep. Don't want you sheep. Have a key. Uh, All right, I'm gonna stop doing that. We'll stop. We'll stop poking the sheep. Is this the cave? That might be the cave. The cave. I like how they labeled their local cave the cave. You are a, a large man, lumberjack. My brother and I were chopping wood. We heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. Mord, can you check on him? You check on him. But it's your brother. I'm gonna pick up the lantern. Can I can I pick up this? Our arm looks too. If you can take one of your axes, no, just land. All right, let's go. Go to the cave. Hello, that was easy. Hey, you, come over here. Did my brother send you? Bless him. The moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. What have I done? Oh. Okay, well, I accidentally full screened. Hopefully, I didn't destroy everything. Please, are we are we okay? Are we okay? Okay, we appear to be okay. Okay, no pan, nobody panic. I did not want to full screen it. I was just accidentally hit the full screen button in my quest to figure out how to use this knife. I just I we can strafe. How do I how do I knife? Do I even knife? Can I, can I even? None of the normal video game buttons are doing anything, so I'm just gonna hope that the knife is used automatically when the time comes. Yeah. Let's strafe around these corners. If we can strafe, let's take advantage of it. It's kinda awkward though, because it's Q and E. I don't know if the game supports gamepad support. I doubt it. Or maybe it does. I don't know what the engine. I don't know what this is made from. Oh, that's a human skeleton. Someone must have died here. Bones look as if they are a child's. There's this hole in the wall. I see something shiny just out of my reach. Get in there. Put your lantern in there. Find out what it is. I like 
SRs. <laughs> just do some side running around here. Real awkward on this uh, keyboard. It's just. It seems more like a mine than a cave, and also I'm hearing some weird screechy sounds. Oh lord! No thank you. Nope. 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 No thank you. Nope. Nope. No, nope. 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 What's over here? Uh, I don't want to know what was going on there. And this part seems like there's a lot over here actually. Well, this is also creepy. I'm just doomed to run into some creepy stuff down here, aren't we? Tools. Some tools hidden against the wall. Looks like they've been used to mark carvings. This is a book on top of specials labeled Farmers. There's a list of names inside. John, Rura, Matthew. You killed me, right? How eerie. Huh. Okay, well, it seems like there's some messed up stuff going on in this town, unsurprisingly. Some sort of sacrif sacrifices, some sort of ritual nonsense. Well, let's go find out what that creepy, bloody, dead-eyed man standing in the dark wants from us. So I presume he wants to kill us. That's why we're sent into the wrong area. Can I even... Can I, I, I don't like to pick up those tools. I feel so... I'm so frustratedly helpless because my, my ability to interact with the world is so limited. Yeah. It's alt control. I really don't want to go there without knowing how to use my knife. I just have to hope that the knife is just, uh, it, it just happens. Like I have a prompt or something to use the knife. Alright, hello creepy man. Creepy dead man, what's up? A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans, what have you done? Let them pass. Attack. Alright. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? Someone give me. I heard moans, what have you done? There's someone died. Let them pass. Alright, I'll let you go. Okay, bye! What if I should just kill him? He didn't seem to be in his right state of mind, though. And now we have the knife. Oh, someone give me. Someone died. We have someone give me knife. Are we gonna someone died? Is there something in going on in this cave? Are we, like, lose control of ourselves and we have to commit some horrible crimes and atrocities? Urg, please help me. I am in pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia. I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in this cave. He spent days mining for gold, then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget despite me. Hey, I know where it is. Then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed I couldn't tell them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of that cave. I went to look for him, but I I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. I have nobody. Will you will you help me? Will you end my life? Well, it seems like you're dying anyway, and I don't think I could help you. Do I want to help her? You need help, lady. I want to go get help. Then leave me, you coward. Spits blood. I should kill you for that. Alright, let's see if we can save this lady. Sorry, lady. I'm not going to help you commit euthanasia. I'm not authorized for that. Especially, what about it? It's like, oh, I have blood on me. Uh oh. And now I have now I have blood on me. Someone give me knife and I have blood on me. Someone's not died though. I've not killed her. Oh. Oh no, it's me. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Um Why don't you? Why do you have a knife? You have one too, you know. I heard moments, what have you done? Actually, nothing. Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where this story shall end, at least for now. What? It's up to you, the next player of this game to choose your fate, just as you chose for the previous player. Enter your first name. What? I guess I can just put the channel email address, that's not a big deal. That's public information. You will be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Press space to submit your details. Storing outcome to database. Oh, that is super cool. That is super cool. Let's see if that finishes. All right, well, I'm going to wait for that email to show up, and then I'll come in and I'll tell you what happened to us. So, yeah, see you in a minute, I guess. 
Okay, so it's been about a week or so, and I never got, unfortunately I never got a response about how our adventure concluded. I would assume the servers have a backlog, a large backlog of players, so the, maybe I got a little bit late, I don't know, the second half players aren't, don't get the responses as soon. I'm sure eventually, you know, there's going to be some people that never get a response because they play the game at the tail end of its life. But anyway, how's uh, Moirai? Very short little experience, a little adventure. Um, very interesting, it's like a nice little social experiment. You interact with someone's previous responses and then you make a choice and then you respond for someone else to come and continue a cycle of people coming into this place with a dagger and getting all bloody. I don't know where the lumberjack's getting all these knives from. But yeah, Moirai, free on Steam, super tiny little download, as you can tell it's a tiny little game. So I would encourage you to go check it out. It's short play time, fast download, you know, no reason not to. Other than, I guess, if you saw me play it and decided you didn't want to do it yourself, that's a totally valid reason. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more fun, Twitch, and I'll see you next time.